Another legacy was domination by European settlers. From the beginning, African and Indian peoples encountered each other under the controlling power of Europeans. And from the beginning, Europeans saw the alliance of these two peoples as a dangerous thing. It was certainly in the interest of European Americans to keep Native Americans and African Americans apart. Uh, such an alliance uh, developed and maintained would have been very destructive of the European American attempt to conquer the continent. So African Americans were often used in the militia against Native Americans. Uh, Native Americans were often encouraged to hunt runaways and were paid bounties for the scalps of uh, slaves uh, brought in. We should also understand that Mohawk warriors were constantly hired to be slave catchers. William Johnson's uh, house became like a clearinghouse uh, for catching slaves in this area, runaway slaves from western Massachusetts all the way across to the Genesee Valley. So anytime anybody lost a slave, they'd go to Johnson's house, say, here's what this person looks like, and he would put the call out to Mohawk warriors, and they would go out and act as slave catchers and bring them back quite often. Yet they let them live among them too. They treated them as the eyes and the ears on English society. These pure persons of African descent who lived in English society, understood English thought, understood English values. When they secreted them, either as runaway slaves or they married into the society, they would let them stay uh, and protected them until enough heat was put on them and they were forced to return them. In colonial New England, the alliances of blacks and Indians were sometimes not only a matter of protection, but also of collaboration. Colonial seaports in the Northeast, especially those involved in the fishing and whaling industries, often used laborers who were of mixed ancestry. And one such black Indian from Massachusetts, Paul Cuffey, made a highly profitable career out of his merchant business that utilized native black connections. Paul Cuffey is, is in many ways very unusual. Um, he's unusual because of his great success and he's unusual because we have ample documentation establishing the fact that he preferred hiring Native Americans African Americans and people of mixed heritage, but at that time the preponderance of mariners from New England ports were in fact Indians, Africans, or people of mixed heritage. 